For the loaded hip thrust, you will need a dumbbell or a barbell and a pad. So I'm using a beach towel. You can use a pad like at the gym that goes around the barbell. Now I'm using the dumbbell here. This is gonna be a lot easier because it's likely going to be lighter weight than even one barbell would be. So I recommend that you start with the dumbbell, make sure that you feel good there, and then you can progress using the barbell with plates loaded on. You will slide that or roll it back so that it aligns right over your hips. But with just the dumbbell, I'm gonna hold on with two hands, rotate it up, and bring it up onto my hips. Bend your knees and position yourself on a stable elevated surface with that surface lining up and hitting you right below your shoulder blades. Okay, I always like to start this at the top of the position to get everything aligned, especially when we're using lighter weight. So place your feet just below your knee so that at the top you've got a 90 degree bend at your knee. Squeeze your glutes without lifting your hips up so high that now your low back arches. So we just want that nice natural curve in our lower back. Engage your core and drive your rib cage down so it's not flaring out. Keep your gaze forward. Hold on to that weight. And now let's begin at the starting position with our hips down. If your surface that you're on is lower, your hips might be right on the floor. From here, inhale and exhale. Drive your heels into the floor, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top and lower down with control. Inhale and exhale, drive it up, keep those knees apart, and lower back down. And repeat, 